this is quarter million acres of beauty, perfect habitat, Ooh. conservation. There's so many things that define this property because when you see animals, you don't just see animals, you see mature animals, you see offspring, you see rhinos, you see lions. This is the only place in South Africa that are considered free range lions. So to have the privilege to come here, um, I can't thank these guys enough for believing in me all these years, but like I said earlier, these guys are more than friends now. They're like my family. And my goal has always been to bring you the very best destination. And Shipungu Kambako has six countries they hunt. I've been to a bunch of them. There's more to come, but this is one that I'm glad I found. And it's unbelievable. You can't describe the experience you'll have here. Five plus stars. day 25 26 and i have been having the time of my life and i brought my sterling precision rifles out here and they've been lights out uh, but they've been on the plane they've been on the truck i've had trackers carrying them so today we went out and i noticed that my rings had a teeny teeny wobble and instead of chancing an animal and a wounded animal we decided to just take the afternoon off, not hunt. We came back to the range um, and we're gonna shoot, re-zero it at 100, make sure, and get it at 200. And then we're gonna take a gong to the airstrip and, and verify a 500 yard shot. Cause that's, that's what this is designed to do. And at, you know, home we practiced all the time. So that's where we're at, this stuff happens. They had some tools, I checked everything out. So just to be safe, last thing I ever wanna do is win an animal, even though I'm here I've got some time left. Let's let's make sure it's right and that's what we're doing right now. Way high. Okay. So, so that's what happened. So yesterday we moved it. I didn't pay attention. I should pay attention. I know this, but I, I just I thought it was on. I didn't think about it traveling. I didn't check everything out and it was shooting low. I raised it high. We got everything back tight. We had some loose stuff here. Vibration, it's Loctited, but this goes in a hard case bouncing around. So now I look down there and I'm probably about an inch high. So that makes a difference. An inch high at a hundred would be 10 inches high at a thousand. So we're going to fix this and we're going to Get all this right. Let's go out to the white gong up there. You painted the little one. <laughs> Left. Dead center, 200. I was two clicks high, two clicks right. But what happened guys is my Loctite vibration, I don't know, but 
there was something definitely wrong. The beauty of these guns is their precision, so you know it's not the gun. The optic concerned me because of the rings. The rings were loose, I tightened them, I verified it again, so when I shot yesterday, my holes were good, but I had to adjust it up, which was strange. Now we got a dead center at 200, we're gonna let it cool down, we're gonna take that gong, and we're gonna go shoot at 500. I'll feel better about that. We're shooting like that at 200. That's what I should do off the bench. That's what this gun I do off the bench. So it's good for me to get my confidence up, but definitely had to make a few adjustments and we'll see how it goes at the distance. Last night we got dark and we got this morning, I took the morning off. I, I, got a, I got my scope back tied, I got it fixed, but I wanted to confirm it. So we've hit it one, two, three, now four. We're center punching at four. For me, it was a wreck, guys. I, I know we've all been there. We get to a big hunt and something's wrong with the rifle. I know my rifle's perfect. I know the guys that built it. I was struggling a little bit with my optic mount because of the travel. We worked on it, Mario. Our uh, friend here at Shapunga Kambako, he's their maintenance man. We found a box of tools. We re-tightened everything, rechecked everything. Now we're ready to go hunt. For me, the most important thing is clean harvest and that I know I'm confident when I pull the trigger. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Psyonix Digital Night Vision, National Roper Supply, NRS, Wilderness Athlete, Fuel for the Rugged, Sterling Precision, Kuyu, and Long Shot Gear. We are at the Kalahari Oryx, Shapugu Kumbako's crown jewel, 250,000 acres of plains game, buffalo. We saw a giraffe yesterday. There's lions here. It's just a beautiful place. In the lodge behind me, if there's a six star, it's one star above five star. It's amazing. The service, the food, the accommodations. I'm pretty blessed to get to come here. I'm pretty privileged. This is where I wanted to bring my 300 PRC from Sterling Precision. We have some opportunity. We've got a light wind this morning. We're going to see if we can find a few species and see what we get done this morning. Let's start in the mountains and um, work some of the rocky ridges. Um, it'll get us some good vantage points and I think it'll it'll work for what we're trying to do. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's head out and, and I brought start, my solids. Start in the mountains. My 375, so yeah. I brought a 375 as well, so we're trying out a new ammo. So that'll be kind of a spot and stock we can get in with 100, 150 of a big big animal. Yeah. Or we've got part of the tiny tin here. Yeah, yes. I'd like to shoot one of those so we'd shoot a solid through my 375. So we've got options here and you know, I practice prone, and so Nikolai, we have the opportunity to maybe get prone here. Yeah. You know, I practice off sticks, but a long shot off of sticks or that, it, it makes the difficulty level just go up. So yes. we're going to go try and find a place where I can shoot where I'm comfortable. If not, we'll work our way back in. Got him? Yes. Got him, guys. 
super nice. Good shooting. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's a very nice. That is a nice huge steam block. That's what makes the 375 such a great caliber here, isn't it? This little gun's precise. I built it for buffalo, but these tiny antelope are so fun to hunt. There's so many here. It's so neat to see them. That, that's a big one. And uh, to sneak up on it, it's a good way to start the morning. Hornady solid, little teeny hole, beautiful little animal, and uh, effective. Yeah, So that's the beauty of a 375. From a little steenbuck right up to your buffalo in Mozambique. The guy could bring one rifle and he yeah, can hunt the whole continent. Beautiful. What a beautiful little antelope. And he's nice. One of the neatest animals you'll see here in the Kalahari red sands. We've seen thousands and thousands of them. This is a really nice ram. He's very mature and uh, just a fun animal to hunt and they eat very good. So I look forward to trying it out and just like any animal, you gotta continue to practice conservation. And so this is an old ram and we uh, keeping the populations healthy and just a beautiful antelope. And it's so neat to see the continent of Africa, the diversity of the species from these tiny tan antelope to the, the giant mammals, the, the big buffalo and the, the giraffe and the elephant. And it all starts with conservation and stewardship of the land. And these guys here at Shapungu Kambako, when you see superior species all the time, you know their management process is right. And I'm so, I'm so elated guys. I got to shoot my solid, my sterling precision. I built it for this place. And uh, we're gonna get out the long bomber next and see what happens. Nice. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Matthews, Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products, Vortex Optics, the force in optics, Tooth of the Arrow Broadheads, Cinnamon Creek Ranch, Big Texas Deer. from Sterling Precision. We want to get a vantage point up here. We got a light wind today. So if we see somebody, it'd be a great day to test out our range. Use my Fury 5000s from Vortex. They're amazing. We're hitting ranges way further than I can shoot, but it's a necessity in your bag you can long range shoot. And we got a light wind picking up, but it's in her face, so see what happens. Perfect shot. Hard shot. Good shooting, 
stop over. Stop over. There he is. Down. <laughs> uh, Exceptional shooting. Jay. Thank you, sir. Very thank good. you, sir. That is maybe my longest shot in Africa. Amazing. Because we don't get that kind of shot yeah. up here, man. Oh my gosh, the Sterling Precision. Guys, we got here and we inspected my rings and they came loose and we had a just a dramatic day of getting back in. But when your equipment is built as well as this, it's fixable. I'm so privileged to get to hunt South Africa. You can see the turret there, 610. 300 PRC from Hornady ELDX, and we have a beautiful Oryx in the salt at a long ways. Thanks, Nikolai. For me, it's all about confidence, and I'd lost it. You saw me go through it when we fixed my gun, but thankfully, you guys had a range, we got it back on. And I was talking about it. I said, man, when you get behind your rifle, mentally, if you're not confident in your rifle, you're not gonna shoot well. And I know these rifles so well, I knew something was wrong day one. And then yesterday I knew it was right. Yeah. And you came back in, I took a day off. Cause I tell guys, I'd rather take the day off. I know I'm a long ways from home, but one bad shot or wounded animal to me ruins, ruins my trip because that's not what we want to do. So today to be confident in this, I knew when those crosshairs were right where I saw it, my scope was level and I touched it off, man. It just, it felt so good. I love to have that confidence back. And as for shooters out there, that's what it's all about is go work with your equipment enough. And I'm not saying I don't make mistakes. If you hunt, you're going to make mistakes, but I, I just encourage you guys be prepared to shoot. It makes your experience much better. All you hunters, I know, you don't want to wound something. So we made a long shot today. Not everybody does it, but if you're prepared for it, you have an opportunity here. Yeah, and the setup was correctly, uh, Jay. We were fortunate with, with the wind was in our, very slightly in our face. And uh, yeah, with you ringing those gongs out to 400 yards yesterday, um, it was good to build up that confidence. And when the opportunity presented itself, you capitalized. So good yeah, shooting. And, thank uh, you. It, it helps the the operator is, is is part of it but having the right equipment um also contributes to the situation and it's imperative to have the right equipment to be able to make shots like these so sure yeah that shot i thought uh, mr j is going to miss 30 oryx there the moment i watch it from here and the distance where he was i thought he's going to have a down shot not the really the exact shot uh -uh, no i don't think so but it's a perfect shot one shot one down wow what a heavy bull gosh you know they don't call this place kalahari oryx for nothing we have seen plentiful superior oryx and that's because conservation is their number one goal here. Since I've been with Shipunga Kambako, I've always heard about Kalahari Oryx. This year, we're, we made a special trip. We've been here for 28 days. We've got more to go, but we want to see some of the other destinations. That's the beauty of hunting with Shipunga Kambako. You can hunt every species in Africa, six different countries, but this is the crown jewel I've heard about. And actually the description doesn't even give it justice. It's the most amazing place. It's so vast. They have so many animals here and the lodge is just out of this world. And you know, we pose these animals up for me because I want to pay respect to this animal. These animals range out here and it's a privilege for me to get to hunt them. And it's a part of the job of conservation to come out here and harvest old bulls like this and continue. The money we spend as hunters out here helps us to continue for the next few generations. And to have this animal posed up and take photos with it is to honor him, to have a memory that I cherish, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And to me, that's what it's all about. It's not a, the word trophy to me, it's, it's different. It's, it's more of a memory. It's more of something that lasts forever. You know, you can remember a lot of things and you forget a lot of things, but what I don't forget is the experience I have hunting these beautiful animals 
here in Africa and to set foot on such sacred ground from Mozambique to Namibia, now South Africa. I'm just blessed beyond belief. They are awesome.